Hey, Boomhauer69 here, and today Boomhauer's going to put to the test this small flashlight I got in a little survival kit. It's one of those hand, hand pressing flashlights, you know, the kind you, you click with your hands a bunch of times and, and it will recharge the flashlight and then you have lighting. You've seen these before, you can get these all from Amazon, a dime a dozen, or they come in those cheap survival kits like this one came in the survival kit that I just recently did a video about which I'll put links in the description for but you all have seen these before these little flashlights here for what the packaging looks like just standard basic packaging here's the actual flashlight itself one of those kind where you unlock the um, trigger and you press it a bunch of times to get it to illuminate and simply shake to recharge these you can find these anywhere a lot of dollar stores sell these even Dollar Tree at one time was selling these in my area but you simply turns on like that that's the on and off switch and then this is to unlock the charging mechanism you squeeze that a bunch of times to make it illuminate and then when you want to press this in you just simply slide that, slide that forward, and that will lock the handle. And then you press this button forward to simply turn the flashlight on and off. So let's go in a dark room and see how bright this little flashlight is. Now in person, this, this little flashlight right here is pretty bright, you know, I can... Look around in my garage here. I can see what I need to see. You know, I could easily, if I had a generator in this garage and say my power went out and I need it, and this is my only flashlight, and I needed a way to find my generator and, and get it started to get me some electricity going in my house in a power outage situation, this flashlight would definitely do the trick. I don't know how well it's picking up on camera. No. I don't know if the camera's picking up, but in person, it is a pretty flat, bright flashlight. It's mostly like a spotlight kind of flashlight. I say more like a kind of like a wide, like flood spot kind of light. But all in all, I think this little basic flashlight is, it's got, it's got a purpose. You know, it's a El Cheapo flashlight, but all in all, it's in the, in this dark room here, I can, in my dark garage here, I can see see everything pretty good and stuff. What do I think about this little flashlight that I got in my comprehensive survival kit? You can get these, again, you can get these off from Amazon, a, a dime a dozen. They have all kinds of these little cheapy little clicky flashlights. You can get them, but you can get these for around, oh, I think you can get like, for like 15 bucks, you can get like 5 or 10 of these, I think. But all in all, my initial thoughts on this little cheap plastic little flashlight. It, that we out here, it, in person, it looked a lot better probably than what it would be on camera. But I think it's okay. I think it's a neat kind of little flashlight. Now, obviously, this is something you're not going to put a whole lot of heavy duty used to. It's just cheap plastic. You drop it once. It breaks, and then you got to go buy another one, but they're so cheap that you can get these diamond dimes, and so if it breaks, you know, you can go buy another one for, what, five, ten bucks, and get a whole pack of them, and be doing just fine, but oh no, this little flashlight, it's going to be okay, okay to use, you know, for that emergency situation, you know. I, I could see this being the quick hurry up. Grab the little flashlight, you know, this is the one you find and you hurry up and go out in your garage or wherever you store your generator during a power outage and, and you're using this to shine to try to hurry up and get your generator started. But long term wise, I don't know how well this is going to hold up long term. I'm going to assume that it's since it's cheap quality, they make these so cheap that I imagine this is only going to last short term, but... 
these little flashlights, they're super cheap where if it does give out short term, you can easily go to a dollar store for a dollar and get another one and call it good. That's how cheap they are, you know, and, or you can get like for 12 or 15 bucks, like a, a five pack of these all from Amazon, which I'll put an Amazon link in the description for one of these. I'll find a good, good, um, Amazon link with good reviews of, of ones and and then put that in the link instead since this one came with a um survival kit I purchased. I'll also put the link Amazon link in the description for that survival kit as well if you wanna take a gander at that. But all in all for a basic little emergency light duty use, this is gonna be alright, but something long to, like something if you're gonna use this for Heavy duty use, or you, or if you uh, think this is going to be super high quality, and you're you're and you have high high expectations for this little flashlight, you're going to be sorely disappointed. But oh no, it's a for a basic little old cheapo flashlight. Again, I say it's going to be all right. These little flashlights, I say they're going to be all right. But yeah. Uh, if you like this sort of content, hit that red subscribe button down below. Give this video a thumbs up. If you like this video, comment below your thoughts about this product, these type of little flashlights. Do you think they're good, bad, crap, whatever? Or, or what was your thoughts on this video? Let me know in the comment section below. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Share this video with everyone you know if you truly like this video. And don't forget to subscribe. And thank you and have a good day.